My name is Gabrielle Shepard. I own Olympic Cards and Comics. Um, I started working here when I was 15 and I've owned it since I was 18. So our 21 year anniversary was just a couple weeks ago. What is the Lacey Gaming Community? Oh, it's awesome. We have, every single night of the week, we have people gaming and hanging out and playing. Um, we just built the second story um, upstairs, so that's pretty much full every night with people playing games. Um, people are really awesome and welcoming. They really want other people to play games, so they're a really nice bunch of people. How many people participate in these tournaments? Oh, it really depends. We could have as few as eight. We could have as many as... I think the biggest tournament we had was 231. So there's a lot of lot of people in here sometimes. My name is Kim Murillo. This is my daughter Ruby Murillo. And the story of Little General is that I quit my job as an engineer because I wanted to do something else. And then Ruby came along and I decided to try to start a small grocery store with some specialty food and I've always enjoyed smaller grocery stores in other towns. The philosophy is to encourage a community downtown by providing a local food source with real food as opposed to processed convenience store type the more people live downtown, I'm hoping that the more they will do their grocery shopping downtown. That's sort of the idea. Little General, Olympia's smallest grocery store. What was your first game that you ever played? My first game I ever played was Pong. Uh, has video games positively influenced you? Video games have positively influenced me. Um, obviously, I'm able to work my own business with it, which is nice. Um, and it's, uh, it's allowed me to connect with a lot of people I wouldn't have connected with. Uh, different age groups of people. Different people. Yeah. In 1983, Due to an oversaturation in the market of extremely poor quality titles, such as the E.T. video game, which is so terrible we're not allowed to show it here, caused the video game market to completely crash. The Capitol was actually started in the 1890s, and they were going to build a single state house with a 150 foot dome and part way through construction they ran out of money so they stopped and the foundation sat for 30 years or so and then in 1928 they finished this building and moved up here for the 1929 legislative session this building was the last uh, state capitol built in the grand museum or church style to make the whole space look very important. So they have tall doors, high ceilings, big rooms to impress people that what they do here is pretty important. All the capitals built after this one look like office buildings. They have large assembly rooms but mostly it's uh, wallpaper or particle board and uh, uh, maybe wood paneling but more often than not it's just 
plastic sheeting that looks like wood. It's uh, uh, built for uh, the office work that is done in the cube farm or something like that. Uh, so they're not really elegant looking museum or church looking structures.